Hello everyone, this is Wild Blade from Creative Media Vault in Tokyo, Japan. And, uh, like, uh, it is now a cloudy Saturday uh, morning in, well, actually, cloudy Saturday afternoon in Tokyo. So, um, let's see, I wasn't on yesterday uh, because um, I was actually um, hanging out at a friend's art gallery. Um, so I was kind of like, um, you know, hanging out, out around the Omote Sando area. And, uh, you know, like, uh, a friend of mine just opened up a very nice, um, you know, did her first, like, solo gallery um, exhibition. So I kind of went there to, like, uh, hang out with her, like, offer some support, and, like, you know, check out her artwork. It's really, really amazing. So, um, like, uh, I wasn't really at home yesterday. So um, I didn't get much done on the uh, character, um, uh, on the uh, character animations. So we're going to go ahead and continue with that today. So, because it, today is Saturday, um, I'm not really going to be doing, um, I don't want to stay on too long, because uh, later on tonight I'm going to head out uh, with my wife and we're going to go watch uh, Top Gun 2. Um, you know, so everybody's giving a, giving that movie rave reviews so far, and I am a huge um, Top Gun soundtrack fan, uh, at least. Um, and so, like, uh, we're going to go watch that movie tonight, so um, I'm going to go ahead and try to finish up uh, most of the uh, animations for the characters, um, like, today. That way, uh, next week we can actually get started on the level design. Um, actually, if we finish up, uh, this is the last character that we have to do, this is Dozer. So if we can finish up with Dozer today, I'm probably going to go ahead and start doing level layout today as well. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to give too much of an intro to this like I normally do. So we're just going to kind of jump into uh, the um, jump into the uh, animation because our move, my movie is going to start later on. So I want to be uh, ready and refreshed for that. All right. So uh, this is the character that we'll be working on today. This is Dozer de Langura. He's like a first lieutenant. Uh, so... We're going to jump over to Unity, and I'll show you kind of what, I'm kind of already prepped for this one, um, but just to kind of give you a rundown on what we've done so far, I'm going to turn Dozer off, and, uh, you know, give you a, a little bit of a demo of what we've kind of, got, kind of got going on with the game so far. Um, let's see. So we've been doing animations for all of these guys, so um, once again, the game that I am working on is called uh, CDULO, the Outer or Beyond the Outer Rim, um, you know, which you can find on my website, which is creativemv.com uh, slash games. And you can check out my other games. Uh, you can play, I recommend playing this one. This is one of the more fun ones that's like a little bit more completed. Uh, the other one, this one's also a strategy game that's kind of completed, but uh, these other ones are like more concept, you know, still in development. But um, as I mentioned, all of my games are kind of connected to the same universe. So when you play one, you're actually getting a different, a little bit of a different story with different characters that are connected to the same uh, storyline. So this is the main game that I'm working on right now. This is CDULO Beyond the Outer Rim, and uh, this is the Kickstarter game that I am, um, you know, working on. So uh, what we, what we've been doing on Twitch, is we've been kind of developing this game and also uh, making the characters, doing the animations, and uh, you know, kind of showing how it's built. I will be locking a lot of my content uh, from now on because I have started a, or not started new, but kind of restarted my Patreon page. So it's, uh, you know, you can like actually support me on Patreon now. And um, I'll be still, I'll still be releasing like a lot of free videos, but I'm going to be um, like locking a lot of the more in-depth content uh, that will be for my patrons only or uh, for people who actually uh, join my Kickstarter campaign. So, uh, you know, if you're interested in uh, supporting me and you like uh, the content that I'm putting out, go ahead and, uh, you know, look me up here, patreon.com, creative, creative Media Vault, and uh, you can, like, you know, like, uh, show me some love and help me continue to develop this. But um, this game is, this game progress is still going, so, like, um, you know, you can come over to my website and you can check out, uh, you know, more information about the game, the overall game, the, the game and the Oreo overall storyline and the characters. And then, um, you know, if you want to see what I've got planned for the Kickstarter, you can go here and you can, um, you know, click on, I have a link right here, just go to the Kickstarter page. And this is the uh, draft page that I'm uh, doing right now that you can kind of check out. You can check out some of the perks and stuff that I already have planned and uh, already confirmed for this Kickstarter, by the way. All right. So, like, uh, and if you would like more information about uh, the characters and whatnot, you can uh, check out, you know, the comics and the novels that uh, are the original source materials for this game. But uh, right now, you know, we're just going to be focusing on the game and finishing up some characters. So, let's jump back over into Unity. 
and I'll go ahead and play through some of the animation that I've got done for uh, the rest of these guys. So this is Zinjin, uh, the team leader. Um, so, uh, you know, just really, really basic, simple animations for this guy. Um, so, jump. Um, and, you know, they, we've got their um, melee attack. So all of the characters will have well, roughly the same type of... Um, the same type of layout when it comes to their animation. All right, so um, that's Zinjin. I'm not gonna go through all of them um, because you can watch a lot of this on my previous streams. Uh, the character that I didn't show you, um, that I kind of did offline actually, um, were Randy and Black Wolf. So I'll go ahead and show you what I did with these two characters uh, while things were while um, I was working offline. So this is Randy. She's like the magic caster of the group. So she doesn't have the strongest melee attack, but uh, you know, and she um, and she's physically uh, weaker than the other ones. But you know, her magic catch is actually pretty strong. So this will be her idle animation. Uh, then we've got her um, dead animation here. So uh, for her dead animation, I wanted to make it a little bit cute, uh, make people make people feel a little bit like sorry and sympathetic for her. So uh, when she dies, she just kind of goes into a fetal position and uh, like her egg back into her egg shape. Um, so that was kind of cute. Uh, what else? Fall we didn't care about. Attack she doesn't have. Hurt um, that's her her uh, her hurt animation. Is, uh, again, simple one frame. Um, you know, just her body getting kind of twisted. Uh, her jump, her jump is kind of boring because she kind of floats anyway. So, like, you know, she's just going to kind of do this, like, little X-Men, like, storm, like, take off the ground kind of thing. And later, I might actually add, um, add a little bit of a whirlwind, um, a whirlwind pulse that kind of, like, goes down to show that she's kind of lifting off. But uh, she doesn't have a double jump. Right, so I didn't give her a double jump because that double jump belongs to Megan. Um, so she can kind of float, she can kind of hover, but she can't double jump. All right, uh, let's see. Her melee attack is going to be something very, very short and very simple uh, because, like I said, she's not actually a physical fighter. Um, when Zinjin and Cory found, can I tell you this? Yeah, okay. So in the storyline, um, like uh, she is a priestess of uh, her um, race, right? And, um, you know, Zinjin and Cory actually, uh, before the team is formed, Zinjin and Cory actually find her um, after she's kind of been kidnapped by another uh, group, of, by, like, a group of space pirates, kind of. So, anyway, they rescue her, and they find out about her ability. So, like, um, basically, she's really, she kind of, she's really grateful to them, and she's never, because of her history and her family and her bloodline, she never really kind of got to go off-world. Uh, well, I mean, got to really hang out so much, so, like, um... They've, uh, her race has had to kind of change planets for a few reasons, um, but, you know, th because of that, she was a little bit overprotected. So, um, you know, according to her laws, she actually owed them a blood debt uh, for uh, saving her. And, uh, but her, like, uh, Zinjin and Cory, they're like, nah, we don't, we don't want her. Because she, uh, they thought she was so young, right? So, like, uh, and they didn't really want to, want to get her involved in their business. But uh, what happens is she winds up stor uh, stowing away on their ship. And, like, uh, you know, like, uh, she kind of convinces them with her powers and stuff like that. And so, like, uh, they decide to keep her. And uh, even though she's not really a military, she's not really a um, military agent, um, like, uh, Zinjin actually promoted her to Ensign so that he could keep her in his crew kind of thing. That's kind of where that came from. All right. So, because of this, um, she's the smallest member of the team. And uh, physically, she's the weakest. Uh, but uh, she makes up with it for her magic cast ability. So, um, her, in, with her animation reflecting that, her melee attack is just gonna be like a little pulse blast. Boom! Just like that. She's like, huh? Like, you know, stay, it's basically her stay away from me, um, <laughs> kind of thing. And it's not gonna really do that much damage, but I might have it to where, instead of doing more damage, it actually knocks the enemy back, uh, more. You know, and that will be useful in the game. But that's it for her melee attack. Uh, what else do we have? Her run? Uh, again, she's not going to be running. She's going to be floating across the screen, so she's going to have her little Jesus mode like, um, Now, with this one, I do have some uh, animations. I do have some particle systems in here for her. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Are you not playing? You are not playing for me. Why are you not playing? Okay, I shall have both of you play like this. Sure. All right. So this is what her, uh, you know, when she's kind of like doing her dash, she's just going to kind of float across the screen like this. She'll keep her um, her target arm, 
um, in front of her so that she could still, like, blast enemies and stuff like that. But, um, you know, like, uh, as for movement, she's just gonna kind of glide and let these particles, you know, um, simulate some propulsion, right? So nothing really too complicated for her. Um, and then the other one, she's not gonna have a slide and she's not gonna have a wall climb or anything like that. So, uh, those are the animations that I've got for Randy. Um, now let's go ahead and switch over, switch her off and go over to, uh, the other character that I did offline, um, uh, which is Black Wolf. So I did Black Wolf offline because his animations are, are going to be kind of Mendel Kai to do. Um, and there's a lot uh, to his animations. Hold on, I gotta check this mail. Yeah, hold on. I am checking this out now. Why? Yeah, so, um, okay. Yeah, that kind of makes, makes a little bit more sense. Hold on. So, uh, what's going, what you're seeing here now is, uh, you're seeing, like, uh, the blank, uh, well, kind of like the blank, uh, screen because, um, and the reason why you're seeing that is because I haven't really, um, I haven't selected another character right here. So, all of these characters are, are under the same, um, under the same clip. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm hearing myself. Why am I hearing myself? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's why I'm hearing myself. All right, yeah. So, anyways, like, um, so let's see. Here's uh, Black Wolf. So, Black Wolf is a complicated character. Actually, to be honest, he's probably one of the more complicated characters in the storyline. So, I can't really give you too much uh, information about him. Um, but, uh, because if you look at the Kickstarter page, you'll notice that um, if we reach our goal, I do have another game plan that focuses specifically on him. And uh, the reason it's focused specifically on him is because Black Wolf's storyline actually very, very closely ties to uh, the original comic series for this, right? So, um, the original comic series uh, that uh, this game comes from is uh, called the Ryukage. Hello? Hello? Website? Website? Where are you, website? Okay. So, um, this is the original, this is kind of like the start of the entire storyline. Uh, well, not the actual start of the, this is kind of like where the storyline picks up. Uh, like, so, um, but the main introduction to this storyline will be through the comics, right? So, um, you know, and, uh, the, the, a lot of this story takes place in, like, um, in feudal Japan. But the story actually starts way before, like, a, like really, really ancient times with this girl here, Ayami Nishiyama, right? So, um, unlike the, uh, so this storyline that I'm working on actually covers many centuries, many, like, I mean, like, it's basically, like, you know, like, thousands of years. It spans thousands of years, right? But it all starts here. But, um, in the current game that we're working on, uh, this is, uh, very, this is very far in the future, like the year, like, uh, 2900 or 2917, right? So it's very far in the future. Um, so a lot of the old stuff that's kind of, uh, happened with the, in the comics have been long, like, nobody knows that shit. Like, it's been long since forgotten. Ha uh, however, like, uh, Black Wolf, uh, Black Wolf and his, um, he's, he's like the last surviving member of his clan. And, uh, Black Wolf is actually connected to that ancient story because of his abilities, right? So, um, that's why, like, you know, he is going to be one of the coolest Native American, um, uh, like, characters in a game because he's actually got a very deep backstory that actually connects all of the storylines together. He's not a main character, um, in the overall, in the overall Wildfire storyline, actually, but he is a pivotal character, um, very much so. So, uh, that's why his animations uh, are a little bit difficult because, um, He's got a few different change modes. Um, so I just did his basic animations now, but I haven't even dived into his uh, change modes yet. All right. So um, I'll play the animation that I did for him uh, offline before we get started working on Dozer. So. All right. So this is his idle animation, just kind of standard. Um, then we got his dead animation. So when you see a dead animation, you'll notice that he turns all all dark, and he's got like you know kind of like a, um, a glowing light around him. Uh, that has to do with his ability and his connection to the comics, 
right, uh, to what's going on in the comics, actually. So that's a dead animation. Uh, he doesn't have fall animation as well. Uh, the hurt animation, you'll notice he also, like, you know, like, turns dark for a little bit, and he's, his eyes are glowing. Um, then we've got uh, his uh, jump animation. His jump animation uh, is going to come, he's going to like, you know, I'm going to speed that up uh, in the game just for animation purposes. I kind of showed it, slowed it down. But he's going to have like a little feral jump, it's like flash with his claws. Um, then uh, melee attack. His melee attack is going to be, he's basically like a wolverine, right? So that's going to be his melee attack right there. And that looks so cool. Right, and it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Um, and let's see, what else do we have for this guy? We've got his run. Um, still gonna be working on his run. This is just his temporary run, because I'm not really sure. I might, like, want to uh, change it a little bit. But this is his run for now, and then I can just edit it later. Um, so he will not have slide. He will not have wall climb or anything like that. Um, however, one, um, ability that Black Wolf does have, and I think I uh, showcased this before. Let me go ahead and play through the game with Black Wolf a little bit, uh, with what we've got so far. And I really do want to go ahead and get started on level design because the level that I've been work that I've been doing like uh, my prototyping on, you know, I just put like random shit there. Um, it's from like I just put random stuff there, you know, just for uh, you know to, for to give the character some obstacles. All right, so this is Megan and stuff like that. You know, she, her animations are playing because of that animation controller issue that I mentioned before, but they're all there. All right, so she can shoot this and stuff like that. But um, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to Black Wolf. And uh, Black Wolf, he's gonna have, he's got his nice little like ninja run here. Um, he's got his like uh, claw thing. Um, if he runs into this, boom, he'll take damage and you'll see him like turn black for a little bit. All right. And now, um, what else? We got his jump right there, you know, and I'll work on his jump animation too. Like, boom, so he's got that. And then now, um, one ability that Black Wolf has that um, other characters don't is he has the ability to shadow melt, right? So you'll notice that I've uh, placed this like block a little bit up. So that means that there's some room under here, right? Well, normal characters won't be able to fit through that, except for maybe Zinjin uh, with his slide. But Black Wolf, he when you press the S key, he can actually go kind of splatoon mode and like uh, shrink himself down and like go under stuff, right? Hmm. All right, so that is kind of like uh, his one of his abilities that will come in heavily that you will have to heavily use in the game. Hmm. But um, I do notice that uh, there's some problem when using the Shadow Melt. Uh, sometimes it uh, misaligned uh, some of his uh, body parts for some reason. I don't know why that, why that happened. So like, I think like when it takes damage. So I'm still working to fix that. But uh, the Shadow Melt ability itself does work just fine. And let's go ahead and get him killed by something. Right. So if he runs into like stuff too much while he's in Shadow Melt mode, like it kind of deforms him. Which, um, it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Right, because uh, he does, uh, that's, that happened because, like, um, I have, like, two colliders that are kind of. <laughs> Hold on, not just, like, male. Alright, so let's play through this again. Mm. Yeah, that have, uh, he slipped through the, um, through the, uh, floor because I have, like, two colliders that are kind of bumping into, like, um, into two different things at one time. Mm. Alright, so, yeah, let's go back to Black Wolf. Um, actually, let's go ahead and switch over to Megan, and, uh, let's see if we can, she, so her, she's got a double jump, but it won't allow her to, like, make it over this, right? So I am gonna play around with the physics and stuff a lot, um, so let's go ahead and use Black Wolf, get him under here, alright? And let's see, switch over to, uh, Megan, and we'll use her double jump, alright? And let's go back to Black Wolf, like, flash these guys up, mm. Alright, good, good, good. So his animations were a little bit more complicated because of his ability, right? So uh, this is an area that he'll that only Black Wolf would be able to access. This is like the Dark Dimension area. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and skip past that because it's not really nothing that's so uh, interesting over there. And like Franklin, Franklin can shoot through walls right now. All right, cool, cool, cool. All Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, we got all of these. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get Cory out here. Use his flamethrower a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. Switch over to Zinjin. Like, uh, shoot this guy. Alright. Now, let's go uh, back to Black Wolf. And, uh, actually, like, uh, he's not touching the ground, so that's why the uh, animation is still kind of freezing, so I'll have to fix that as well. 
Um, what was I going to show you? Oh, uh, now that uh, we picked up his secret weapon, I'll show you one of his super moves. Right. Uh, so he's got he's going to have this uh, dark call. So this will be like one of his like uh, super moves where he can like just call stuff from the ground, and it gives him like a pretty good range. Um, so, like, and, uh, a lot of these, uh, ghost hands can kind of pass through stuff. I'm still debating whether I want it, want these to actually show up. I'll probably get rid of them and just have them call them, like, uh, straight from the ground. Yeah, uh, but, like, you know, this is kind of, like, his ability. And then he can kind of switch back and, like, do his shadow mode thing and stuff like that. So, uh, that's Black Wolf, the character that I did, uh, the other day. Still need to work on his animations and, like, getting everything smoothed out a little bit. But I am kind of, like, rushing to, uh, get this prototype up. All right, so now uh, that we've got uh, Black Wolf, Black Wolf is kind of like uh, the dark member of the team, right? Uh, because of his background, his history, and what he knows, right? Uh, because of what he's connected to. Um, so, like, uh, this is gonna kind of trip some people about some people out because uh, when you look at the team roster, you would kind of get a feeling that maybe uh, Dozer would be the more feral, like, you know, like, uh, one that's, the more feral one that's kind of hard to control. So, because of his looks, right, he looks, like, more beastly. But actually, this guy, he's, like, a holy warrior. He's, like, a, a holy warrior kind of paladin type who's really, like, you know, he's really intelligent in some ways, but he's kind of naive in other ways. He's got a lot of travel experience and stuff like that. Um, but he does have, like, relationships as well. So, uh, he's, like, the light side, actually, and Black Wolf is the dark side. So, um, and that's one reason why Zinjin uh, selected both of these uh, characters for uh, both of these team members, because actually they kind of have um, a relationship between light and dark. So when this guy goes crazy and like uh, like starts uh, his, his powers start going uh, start getting out of control, actually Dozer is one of the only ones who can contain him because of his holy magic, right, or his holy energy, right. So it's kind of reverse, right. All right, so we're going to be working on, uh, like, um, Dozer today, which is kind of like Black Wolf's counterpart. All right, so let's go ahead and quickly jump into this. We're going to go over to, um, so we're going to be go using uh, Dozer de Langura. Let's go ahead and switch this on. All right, so for Dozer right now, um, all he's got is, like, some arm movement for his primary weapon, uh, which is, you know, not going to be enough. So we need to give him, like, uh, an idol. So let's... Uh, jump over here, go to the idle animation, make sure that Dozer is selected, and make sure that we are recording. Alright, so um, for all of these characters, their idle anim animations are pretty simple. So um, I'm just going to, as I mentioned before, I'm using um, just standard body part animation. So in this case, I'm just going to highlight everything that I need. Alright. And um, just start by kind of just moving, moving the top part of his body down as usual, All right? And for his leg movement, I'm for his legs, I might need, not even have to really do too much. All right, so um, I'm gonna move this down, and let's see. Actually, I should have done that one this way. Let me cut, copy these, and delete these. All right, let me jump out to frame ten and like put these here. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I'll just drag these down again. All right. And then uh, for his mm, for his legs, I might rotate them out a little bit. Um, you know, because he's going to wind up flexing anyway. So I'll go ahead and rotate these out just a smidgen. And then, like, um, for the uh, calf area, um, you, if you've been watching my uh, stream, you see me do this, like, uh, hundreds of times already. So I'm just going to, like, bend these back like this a bit more um for his arm since he's coming down um i might actually put a bit of a delay on his arm i move it up a little bit and let's see how that looks okay so i'll move his arm up a little, maybe a little bit more and kind of swing it backwards as well Okay, yeah, so something like that will kind of work for him right now. Hmm, uh, actually, for his uh, legs, I think I'm going to go ahead and rotate them back a little bit. Hmm, hold on. 
on. Yeah, I think this will look a little bit better. And don't worry about the timing because we're going to like fix that. Um, we're also going to maybe move his head down a little bit. I uh, kind of tilt his head down. Okay, so I'm going to tilt his head down. Alright, and that might be good enough for him. So. Mm -mm. Actually, I just noticed that the, this leg is up a little bit further than it should be, so let me move it down here. Okay, yeah, I think his foot will look better here. I'll actually just kind of rotate this down here, and then... Okay, and for his idle animation, I think actually that's probably good enough. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these frames and jump out to frame 20. And just have him do like a nice little smooth like uh, movement right here. And then I'm just going to drag these out to like maybe one. Okay, yeah, that looks like a pretty decent, like, uh, idle animation for him. Yeah, like he's kind of breathing and ready to go, ready to jump into something. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's it for his idle animation. Alright, so now let's go over to his, uh, dead animation. So, uh, for his, for the dead animation, um, for those of you who've been watching the stream, I am, um, uh, main, I always start with the body, so I'm gonna grab his body, and I'm going to rotate it. Um, am I going to have him lay down front or back? Yeah, I think I'm going to have him lay down to the front. So he's going to lay down this way. I'm going to grab his girdle and uh, go ahead and rotate that out as well. I'm going to have to move everything around. So um, that's what I like about uh, this type of animation. I can just kind of grab shit. Um, before I do any of that shit, uh, first I need to make sure that I'm recording. So uh, that is a big, big thing. I almost messed up there. Alright, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm on Dozer and that I'm going to uh, hit this record button. Yeah. And now I'm going to start doing all that stuff. So if you do that without like, uh, you know, actually um, like uh, hitting the record button, you're basically just kind of moving the body parts around, um, you know, in the main, um, uh, like uh, the default body parts around, like not the animation, um, not for that particular animation. Alright, so, let's see, uh, for his head, I'm gonna grab this, move it over here, uh, grab his arm, move it over here, temporarily, grab his girdle, and go ahead and rotate this, this way, and move it back here, yeah, right around here, uh, for his legs, um, yeah, I'm gonna give his legs, um, Bit of a rotation here, and uh, move this one here, and then uh, for his uh, other leg, grab, grab this one and pull it here, and then um, for this one, I think I'm going to grab his ankle and rotate it down this way. Now it kind of looks like he's doing a side kick, so I'll move it here. Mm. 
Okay, so he's just gonna kind of be laying down on the ground all sprawled out like this. Kind of thing. Alright, and his head. Let's go ahead and grab his head. Move that down here as well. Okay, yeah. That looks kind of dead. Alright, now let's take his arm and drag his arm over here. Alright, yeah, he's gonna look like he's kind of covering his face up a bit. Alright, and uh, for his uh, right arm, or sorry, for his uh, primary weapon, primary weapon is gonna go go away. Um, is it gonna go away? No, actually, I think I want to leave the primary weapon there. Um, uh, well, I can't leave the actual primary weapon there. Uh, but what I am going to do is. I might leave that in back of him to where the axe is kind of sticking up to where he just kind of fell and it's kind of like sticking up behind him. All right, uh, let's see. This isn't looking too bad, but let me stop this here because uh, what I need to do now is I need to uh, duplicate his primary weapon and I'm just going to put like a dummy weapon. Uh, All right, and the reason I'm making a dummy weapon is because right now, uh, when he's dead, um, if I keep his primary weapon in the scene, what's going to happen is uh, even when he's dead, his weapon will be able to rotate and he should still be able to shoot. So I don't want that. So I'm just uh, I just made a duplicate of the primary weapon, and I called it dummy weapon. And instead, uh, I'm going to go to this uh, dozer axe um, inside of the dummy weapon. I'm going to remove this uh, remove this script. You know, and I'm going to also remove the uh, animation because we don't need it. Um, Alright, and then the rest of this should be fine. Alright. So now, let me jump back into Dozer here. And go to his, um, go to his dead animation. And I make sure I'm playing again. And now, uh, for this, uh, we're going to grab this uh, dummy. Um, yeah, this dummy axe. Alright, hold on. Uh, first, we're going to get rid of his uh, primary weapon. One. And now we're going to grab this dummy axe. And I guess we can kind of move, yeah, kind of move it this way. Yeah, so it looks like he looks like he kind of dies with his weapon in his hand. Um, you know, like, he, was, he went down fighting, basically. That's kind of what we're trying to show here. Okay, so something like this will look decent for him. Uh, for his for his axe, um, I might actually shrink his axe down a little bit, make it kind of look like it's angled behind him. Ah, uh, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, he's a warrior. He's gonna die like this. All right. Yeah, this looks like he died fighting. Mm. All right, and so uh, and after all of that, uh, we're going to grab um, all of his body parts. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab everything, including this and his. Uh, not, not like that. Hold on. Okay. Okay, and I think that's all we need. And we're just going to kind of drag them, drag them here. All right, and that will be his dead. And don't worry about it if like the arm is coming like a little bit slow. We don't really, we don't need to worry about that. All right, so now we're going to play. Alright, so let's kill them. Alright, um, hmm, this playlist is kind of, like, short. Let me drop in another playlist for you guys. Um, right. So, uh, now I gotta find something to kill me, so. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. He's having the same problem that, um, that Franklin was having. 
and the reason why he's having that problem is because I did made the same mistake. Um, I actually moved his uh, body part down, which I didn't need to do. So hold on. Uh, let's see. I need to go back in Dozer and go into his. Yeah, uh, I forgot. Like, um, I don't need to like move his body parts all the way down. Um, so let me see if I can. Okay, that just misaligned everything. Okay, hold on. Give me a second here. So, like, uh, sometimes, like, when you do that, a lot of times it won't let you undo. So, actually, I'm going to stop this one. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of all of these. Now you'll notice that he's just, like, down in a clump, right? Which is not good. So, hold on. Let me go ahead and... I didn't save this, I don't think. So, yeah, I'm going to have to reform this character, so give me a second. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. I was going to mention that the last time. Sometimes, like, when you move him down, like, it actually messes up the entire, uh, thing. So, I'm not sure you guys save anything. And I don't think I save. But anyways, like, uh, his animation so far has been, like, uh, you know, like, easy enough. So, let me go ahead and, uh, stop this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna jump back over here. Just quit it right quick. Um, so I did try to troubleshoot that before with Franklin and it just didn't work out well. So let's see where I'm at with this guy. Alright, so, yep. Yeah. yeah, so, um, the thing that I did, like, I don't, yeah, definitely don't do that. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about that, too. So we've got his, uh, idle animation that plays. We've got his, uh, dead animation that, okay, good. Dead animation is not there. Alright, um... For his hurt, we haven't done hurt, idle, jump, or any of that stuff. Alright, good thing. So, like, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and continue with this. So, I just had to kind of reset him there. And, like, just restarting it is, like, one of the easiest ways. So, let me go ahead and hit, uh, this again. And we're just gonna quickly redo everything that we just did before. So, I'm gonna grab his, uh, body and rotate that out. Yeah, so, uh, the thing I have to remember is don't drag everything down, that's all. Alright, so, um... Uh, do, 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 do. Head over here. Um, we had his uh, right arm. Also, like, uh, oh, his right arm was coming in, uh, around his head. So let me just go ahead and like uh, move these out. Move his uh, girdle and rotate that. And, and to be honest, this is one reason why I like to kind of prototype everything first before, like, uh, I start working on level design. Because when you're, like, doing level de design and stuff like that, and then you're trying to do animation, and it kind of gets a little bit too, um, it gets too much, gets to be too much. So if I ran into this trouble while I was doing level design, it would actually take me out of my level design. Uh, phase and then I had to try to fix this and then like try to go back into the level design and uh, it, thing, it would kind of get a little bit frustrating and maybe even a bit confusing having to bounce between the two. I'm actually going to rotate this back a little bit too since I'm here. And he, uh, he does have a pivotal foot so I'm going to like you know make sure his foot is like pivoted out as well. Alright now let's go to his other leg and move this. Okay I'll move this one back here. Uh, and then I'll just rotate this, like this here. And, um, I didn't move it down last time, but since it's at a deeper angle, I can go ahead and move it down here. Alright, now I'm going to grab his arm and drag this right here. You know, in front of his body, you know, like a little bit. And then let me grab his head. And rotate his head downwards. 
Yeah, like he died, like, just like that. Alright, and uh, we're gonna have to uh, duplicate this again. So, duplicate this one, uh, turn this primary weapon off. Alright, and uh, this will be his dummy. I just created this in here, so... Dummy. Okay, and I'll jump into his dummy and remove this component. And remove this component as well. And I'll have to do that for real in the... Yeah, I'll have to do that for real in uh, the other... Just, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's my old. Uh, that's my youngest son, actually. So, uh, so he he decided he's gonna go play with his friends outside before it starts raining. All right, so we got a dummy weapon right here, and uh, we're going to move his dummy weapon up, and make it look like he kind of you know. Again, we're looking for that. He's a warrior, so we want him to kind of die, die fighting. Okay. So, yeah, something like this will work for him. All right, and now I don't want to move everything down. All right, so, um, so here what I've done is um, I've, I've gone ahead and set this up, but um, for this dummy, dummy axe, we don't necessarily need it on the, um, on the uh, screen for uh, when he's in his normal like, stand-up form. Okay, so right now, uh, when we're in his other animation, this uh, dummy um, axe is still kind of hanging around, so we don't need that, so we're just going to remove it here. And um, in the other frames, his uh, primary weapon will be, um, or in the other animations, his primary weapon will be um, able to move and rotate and shoot and do what it's supposed to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and play these. So, we got his uh, idle animation, which is still a little bit fast, uh, I'll need to... Uh, come here and drag this one out to one. Okay. Alright, so. Alright, good, good, good. So that's a nice smooth idle animation for him. And then when we jump over to his dead animation, like it should be there, uh, and um, let's see. Let me make sure that this is cut on. All right, and that will just show for the dead animation. All right. Mm, good. Okay. I know. Uh, dead right there. All right. Now let's play. So, um, if you'll notice the t-shirt that I'm wearing, um, I don't know if you guys can see my t-shirt, it might be a little bit too. Yeah, so the t-shirt I'm wearing is actually, uh, from another, uh, from a character from another game that's also connected to this storyline. Uh, his name is Vincent. So if you like the characters and stuff that you're seeing uh, me create, um, then you can, um, you know, support me by going to, uh, my Nerdy Urges online store. So I'll show you what that one looks like in a little bit. So, uh, let's go ahead and switch over to Dozer here, which is, uh, the L button. So his uh, animation, uh, his idle animation is working, so he looks a little bit, you know, like he's ready to go get into some trouble. And now, uh, let's see if I can get something to kill him. So we haven't done uh, this animation yet. Uh, so let me switch back over to Megan. No, Megan is O. So, and use her double jump to see if we can clear this, which we can't. So let's go down to Black Wolf and shadow melt that shit. Alright, so now... <laughs> Alright, so, uh, you're gonna have to, like, uh, remember which buttons to press. Uh, so, for, uh, the actual game, we're probably going to have it, um, be, um, on Kickstarter, we're actually probably gonna do it as a controller game. Yeah, so we'll have to figure out the dynamics for that. Uh, now let me switch over to Dozer and, like, you know, he can actually shoot his weapon here. Um, but I wanna see if these guys, if he dies, boom. Alright, yeah, so when he dies, he's a bit up. Uh, that did not drop him down gravity-wise, though. So, uh, that's the problem that I have with, like, uh, two of the characters, Franklin and Dozer. I mean, fortunately, they don't stay on the screen long enough for people to really notice. But, um, when it comes to these two characters, 
um, I'm having a trouble having trouble with them like dying and like kind of laying flat down on the ground. So that's something I'll have to like fix later. But we're not gonna worry about it for too much at the moment. We're gonna go ahead and continue with his other animation. So we've got his uh, dead and his uh, idle. Uh, we need to do his hurt animation. So I'll click on, make sure that Dozer is selected. Uh, click on his uh, hurt animation, and then go ahead and hit this record button. Now uh, for his hurt animation, um, normally we have uh, people like kind of going backwards. Um, in Dozer's case, I think we're going to like um, have him come forward, I guess, just to give the animations a bit more variety. So I'm going to grab his body, I'm going to grab his girdle, um, and I'm going to grab his, uh, uh, maybe just these two. And then I'm going to slide them back like this. And, uh, for his head, I'm going to slide his head forward and uh, rotate it down. Hmm. Maybe slide it forward even a little bit further, like here. Uh, for his uh, arm, also I'm going to slide that forward. And I'm going to rotate it out this way. Maybe not up too much. Um, so inside, inside of his arm, I'm going to rotate his forearm down. Okay, and I'm going to make his legs, um, you know, stick straight out. So I'm going to rotate, uh, rotate both of his legs. Yeah, make it look like he's being knocked backwards like that. Um, so, okay, this is actually rotated, not so bad. Uh, and I'm going to point his foot down. Yeah, something like that. Um, also for his uh, back leg. Yeah, something like this. Um, that arm doesn't really look so good though, so let me think of a different way. Mm. Yeah, because he's making a fist, it looks like, you know, he's just punching out. So, maybe make it look like he's, uh, kind of grabbing his stomach, I guess? Okay. And, uh, for the head, I think I can rotate the head down, give him more. Yeah, like, make it go down. Okay, yeah. So that looks like he's actually been hurt. Like, he's getting knocked backward. Uh, he's all, he's losing his balance a little bit. Um, let me move his right arm back as well. Yeah. Okay, that looks like a pretty decent hurt animation for him. So uh, let's save this. And let's uh, jump. Let me actually save, save this. And then uh, let me play. Okay, so let's switch over to Dozer and let's run into this. Boom, okay, yeah. So he's like, Ugh. So he's like taking that hit, Ugh, like a pro. Uh, he's still holding on to his weapon, so he's still like, you know, able to, you know. So the, these boxes are just here, <laughs> just to damage the characters, <laughs> so I don't have to like, go around looking for an enemy all the time. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, so that's working. Um, we haven't done a jump. Uh, we've got his dead and his idol is still going. All right, so yeah, let's move on to the next animation. And uh, the next animation for this guy is going to be, uh, we done dead. He doesn't necessarily need an attack right now because he's not gonna be throwing grenades or anything. And we can just always quickly add that one later. Um, oh, we'll need to do his jump. So let's go ahead and do his jump. Uh, I'm gonna give him a fairly basic looking jump. All right, so, um, for the first frame, um, we're mainly just going to have, do what we normally do. We're going to grab the body, body, girdle, uh, head, arm, um, maybe not the arm actually. 
Yeah, we're gonna use his uh, his arm, leave his arm roughly in the same place, and use it for a load. Okay, yeah, these might be the only thing that you grab. So I'm gonna grab these and I'm going to uh, drag them down. Uh, for his right arm, I'm gonna rotate his right arm backward. Okay, eh. So I'm gonna use this as a load. I'm gonna bend his uh, bend his legs and uh, rotate them backwards like he's preparing for a jump. And I might move his legs down just a little bit. That's the part of the leg, damn it. All right, so uh, yeah, grab these parts. grabbing everything. I forgot that this guy has a foot, so <laughs> that needs to. So he's just gonna like maybe load this way. And I think I can actually rotate these up a bit more. Okay. So yeah, he's just gonna kind of load this way. So that's going to be kind of his wind. And for his body, uh, also, I'm going to rotate his body forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so that'll be his uh, first load. Then we're going to jump out to frame 10. And uh, we're going to just kind of launch him. So, grab everything. Not too much because we still have to be careful of his gun. Alright, so I'm just gonna launch him up this way. And uh, whenever I'm launching the characters into the air, I tend to make them look upward, you know, uh, towards their goal. So he's gonna launch this way. Um, and uh, his legs are also going to kind of rotate downward. So he's just gonna kind of do this Hulk, <laughs> kind of Hulk jump. Actually, I think for uh, on this first frame, what I'm going to do with his right arm is I'm going to have it load this way instead. So, mm. Yeah, so he's going to load this way. And then when he jumps, his arm is going to swing backwards like this. Like, Alright, so he's going to jump this way. jumps he's kind of good right there all right all right so uh this is kind of all that we need all that we need for a jump for him um and i know it looks really really simple the other ones other characters have like you know some more complex jumping uh stuff like mechanism and stuff like that but for this character he doesn't necessarily need it so i'm gonna go here all right so now when we play, it's like a pretty like pretty straightforward jump for him, all right. And um, so let's see. I'm I want to make sure that he's got some decent hang time. So I'm gonna drag these all the way out to maybe 110. And then uh, for when he's up in the air, I'll um, copy these frames. Alright, so let's see how this looks. Hey, boom! Alright, yeah, we got our little Michael Jordan honey badger here. So. Yeah. So, I mean, um, the jump animations for some of the other characters are actually much more complicated. Alright, so let's see. 
Boom. 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 Okay, yeah, that's his jump. So that's all we're going to do for his jump. Um, so, like, uh, let's go ahead and save this. Hmm, my neck is a little bit stiff because I'm always kind of looking down. So I'm going to have to do something with my, um, with my layout. The thing is, I have to kind of uh, work around the family, so I'm always kind of changing my location. So that's why you see me either working downstairs or, like, working upstairs or, uh, working at different hours and stuff like that. Because I kind of have to, like, um, you know, I can't really work where it's too, too noisy or anything like that. Uh, so I have to keep on, because I'm recording, so I have to keep on kind of changing, changing places, changing locations. I don't have really a dedicated work place or work time, per se. Okay. So now, let's go, uh, and play this. I did do my training this morning, so I make sure I, like, do my training and my stretching. And stuff because I know I'm gonna be sitting down doing a lot of stuff. Um, so, all right, so let's switch over. Okay, idle animation is working. Jump animation. He's got his Michael Jordan on. Yeah, he's like like his little. Uh, this is looping, so I'm gonna turn that loop off. He's like he's doing a double one. <laughs> all right, yeah, but um, and I also think I'm gonna make it uh, make the jump a little bit longer as well. Uh, the jump time a little bit longer. So let's go back over here. Jump. Um, with this and I'll drag this out to maybe one uh, 130 instead or maybe 120 will be good all right and now um we're gonna click on his uh, animation controller here and go to the project so let's do this again all right and we're just gonna find his jump animation which is this one right here and it does have a loop on it so we're just gonna turn this loop off because we don't want it looping while he's in the air where he keeps on like doing his jump while he's in the air so so one time should be fine all right and let's go back to animation all right and let's play yeah so once we're done with like uh, dozers and basic animations i think we're pretty good for moving on to uh, actual level design so that you guys don't have to keep on looking at the same level like same default level Alright. Yay! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so very nice, boring jump. <laughs> Alright. And like, uh, so he's taking damage. Boom! Alright, he runs into that. Boom! Runs into that. Uh, he can still shoot. He's got his idle animation. Um, can't do anything else. So he's like, Black Wolf, help me. And then Black Wolf's gonna slide up under here. And then we can go back over to Dozer and pick up his, like, um, yeah, yeah, like his super move, right? Or one of his super moves. Hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah. So he's got like a little lightning call down. Yeah. Yeah, but when he's doing his lightning call down, though, uh, he can't jump. So that's the uh, trade off. So he can like do damage, but he can't jump. So he can. Uh, and also, like, I'm going to make his weapon disappear when this is uh, being used in use as well. Okay. Yay. All right, but anyway, that's his jump animation. So now we need to make a semi-convincing run for this guy. So uh, next animation for him will be... Oh, we'll do his melee attack next. All right, so uh, for Dozer's melee attack, he's got this big-ass axe, right? So we're going to use that to our advantage. So um, now the problem is his axe is actually uh, his primary weapon at the moment. So that's the thing that's kind of rotating in its arm. But if we're going to use that for melee attack, uh, we're just going to have to swap out the graphic. So um, that's one. That's another reason why I created this uh, dummy dummy axe for him. So make sure that Dozer is selected and go to um, you know the record button. Make sure that we're on the melee attack. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to hide his primary weapon because that's just in the way. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate, uh, sorry, we're going to turn on his dummy weapon right there. And so remember, the dummy weapon is the one that does not have the weapon script attached to it. So we can kind of manipulate this one without uh, anything, without it, uh, you know, affecting his ability to shoot. So um, for this, we're going to kind of um, move like go ahead and rotate and in this dummy weapon he's got two parts he's got his uh axe and then he's got his arm so for his axe we're going to rotate his axe out 
Hey, hold on. Alright, I just noticed that his arm is mm, uh, directly attached. Okay, so we're going to move that out here for a second. Alright, so now we're going to move his, rotate his axe. Alright, and move this out here. So I'm actually going to be, um, so this is going to be a fairly lo long range um, melee attack for him. Alright, and so for his arm, we're also going to, um, you know, go in here and uh, rotate this out. Yeah. Okay. So now he's like actually pulled pulled out the pulled out the big stick, right? So he's got the big stick here. Okay. So we're gonna have the grip right around here. And uh, we're gonna rotate this up a little bit more. Right. Okay, so this is gonna be like uh, number one. So then on uh... okay, so this is like number one. All right, then at uh, frame 10, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate uh, this all back as well. So now for some reason, the pivot point's all the way over here. Let's see how that works. So, oh, that's not going to freaking work. All right, so uh, yeah, because this isn't, we're going to rotate this arm back. Okay. So he's gonna keep it right around here. So he's gonna raise this up right here. So it's like, boom, boom. All right. So he's gonna. Actually, maybe I should reverse these. But hey, okay, so like, uh, he's gonna raise it up. He's gonna hit, raise it up. Uh, and then so one will be. Uh, I should probably reverse these frames. Now that I think about it. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna reverse these. Uh, actually, give me a second. So, like, uh, just kinda, I'm gonna have him start with it in the up position to where he just, it looks like he just pulled it out and whack. Right, so uh, I was thinking, like, to have him pull it out and then raise it up and then raise it back down, but, uh, and then, like, slam it back down, but that's not necessary. So, uh, for this, I'm gonna going to go into his uh, arm first and just rotate that. Yeah, pivot it up, rotate it up here. And uh, take his axe. Okay, so yeah, this will be the first frame, I think. And that'll make it easier. Um, right. And then uh, for this arm, we're gonna rotate it down here and have him like get his nice little head slice in there. Okay, so this will be the first part of the attack. So he's just gonna like whack him right in the head with that. Okay. And, um, you know, so. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty standard. I might have him uh, come, uh, come. I'm gonna move his right arm back. And uh, have his head come down a little bit, and uh, kind of rotate. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 All right. So that's uh, number one, and then we're gonna come out here, and uh, this is where we're gonna kind of move his legs. So I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna grab his uh, right leg. And rotate it. Oh, sorry, left leg, and then uh, grab, then rotate it out a bit. Oh, that's his left arm. Where's it? Oh, there it is. 
So I'm going to rotate this out. Uh, rotate this out. And then move it out here. Okay. And um, the reason I'm doing this um, is because we're going to have him pull his arm back. So uh, his dummy weapon will come back here. Okay. So, so this is going to come back here. And then we're going to skip out to frame 30. All right, and this is where I'm going to try to make him do a bit of a twist. So um, we're going to bring his right arm forward. Right around here. Uh, bring his, maybe flip his body this way. And also uh, flip his right arm. Or actually flip both of his right arm that way and have to uh, realign them so so, so uh, I use this with uh, this technique with Corey because Corey is a kicker right um, so I'm flipping his right arm here uh, his head also will need to flip there so arm here and I'll move this up a bit more All right now uh, for his uh, dummy weapon as well we're going to need to flip these this um, right arm actually I think I'll need to extend yeah extend this arm out more so I think you can kind of see what I'm going going for here um, move this up and make it look like he's got a nice little two hand grip on this bad boy and then, uh, let's go ahead and uh, move his axe into position. So, something like this. Maybe at a slightly different angle. Okay, so he's going to come back here like this. So, he's kind of winding up. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Boom, boom, boom. Right. So he's going to hit one, turn. All right. And then uh, we're going to put a pause here. So I'm going to copy all of these frames. And paste them here. All right. So we're giving him a bit of a pause. And now, uh, for here, we're going to jump into his body again. And go ahead and uh, rotate, uh, flip that back. Um, we're going to flip his right arm and left arm. Flip them back. Uh, we're going to flip his head back as well. All right. flip those okay so uh, let me go ahead and move his right arm back here okay and uh, move his head oh, I know that okay 
Uh, for his body, we're going to move his body forward a bit more. And we're going to rotate it now. And drop it down a little bit. And uh, for his head, we're going to make sure that that's kind of right around here. All right. For his right arm, we're going to make sure that it is straighter. And same here. Straight. All right. Now, uh, for his front leg, um, for his left leg, I'm going to rotate, not the foot, damn it, uh, I'm going to rotate this and uh, move this leg out a bit more. And then for his foot, uh, Make sure it's out like this way. For his uh, right leg, we're going to, um, you know, uh, make it shift it out more and then make it longer. Rotate it, yeah. Rotate it and like make it a bit longer. Like he's kind of putting his uh, weight into it. We're also going to move his girdle forward as well. Oh, okay. And uh, for his um, his other arm, the arm in the back that we're not seeing, we're going to move this here. And actually, we're going to um, switch the order in layer. So maybe I think it should be a six now. And uh, this should also be like maybe a seven. Or no, it's got to come up eight, uh, nine, uh, ten. Uh, 12. Okay, so it needs to be uh, above the girdle. And, and that's way too much, so like 12. Alright, and uh, for this arm, I'm going to have to switch, yeah, swap it this way. Um, also, for this one, I'm going to have to swap it on the X. Alright. And I'm um, probably going to wind up dropping this arm down a little bit. Yeah, something like this. And uh, for the right arm, I'll be bringing it up a little bit more so that he can hold his axe. Now let's get back to that axe. And we're going to drag his axe um, here. However, we're going to also have to move this one up on the layer side. I think I'll put that on la layer 10. All right. Uh, now, uh, for these two graphics down here, actually for his uh, right arm, I'm going to have to switch this one. So I'm going to switch this one to here. Yeah, so I just uh, swapped those graphics out very quickly. Yeah, alright, and then uh, for his right arm, I've got to uh, swap that one to this one right here. And I think I can drop this one down to like maybe 10. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now it looks like he's kind of loading up. So you got... Yeah, that's not looking too good. Give me a second. Why? Hmm, let me go ahead and copy the, and paste these frames out here. Um, let me get rid of these. Alright. So I'll need to copy this. Alright, let's try this.
Okay, so I think the timing is just off on this one, but anyways, let's go back. Got all the way back here. So he's up, he hits, he twists, he pauses, pauses still there, and now he comes out to this one right here. I'll have to redo those, um, because I thought I pasted those correctly, but apparently not. So, no? Okay. Well, anyway, let's, like, uh, do that again. So, um, yeah. So we're just gonna, uh, switch all of these back over. So, plop. just drag these back to where we uh, previously had them so uh, oh and the body is gonna have to rotate body rotates comes forward okay so body rotates comes forward right arm uh, goes back head comes I know that head comes forward like this all right uh, right arm comes up. Okay, girdle uh, comes forward. All right. Um, let's see. The uh, left leg uh, rotates backward. No, I always grab that part. Okay, and then the foot uh, pivots out this way. Left leg uh, can also come forward a bit and down. Okay, back leg, uh, the right leg, uh, we agreed to kind of rotate this guy out and um, scale it boom, like this. All right, give him some like uh, momentum pushing forward. All right, and for his um, arm right, that's all good, but we're going to have to uh, rotate this out. Um, rotate this out for his uh, other arm. We're going to have to bring this forward to right around here and then um, put it in a layer like, like 10 or something like that. And this one will be, I think we put like 12, All right? And uh, for this one, we're going to swap the graphic here and uh, rotate it. And then for the uh, right arm, we're going to do the opposite, come in here, and then uh, rotate this, all right. All right, so we're gonna give him this one right here, um, and then we're gonna rotate this right here. Okay, grab the whole um, arm and drag it right around here. And uh, for this uh, back arm, we're going to drop this down to like maybe five or something. Nope, not five, you don't like five? Uh, okay, two, all right, there we go. So now, let's see, boom. Okay, so you've got this. Hmm. Yeah, okay, it's not really liking that twist that I'm doing. Hmm, okay. So, uh, in this situation, I think uh, that twist isn't gonna work for him. So, uh, instead, what I'm going to do is, let's see, I really want him to have a twist because I want him to kind of whirl around and uh, you know swing up. But uh, when I'm using the animation um, in Unity, that's not really kind of um, working out for him so well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit once. 
Okay. So, uh, I'm going to get rid of all of these. Hmm. Because uh, what's going on is, like, uh, the spinning animation is a little too difficult for him. So, we're going to put, uh, like, have him do this one right here. And then I'm going to stop it right here. Now, um... The reason I'm stopping it is because uh, we're going to switch over to um, some still frame animation. Mm. So I'm going to open up my... Where do you go? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so my Adobe Animate uh, 2021 just decided to go on vacation. I just dropped my Apple Pencil. This thing has been through a lot. <laughs> yeah, so when this happens, like, um, if I got something I want to, like, rotate or whatnot, then, like, uh, sometimes it's better to just go ahead and do it in Adobe Animate. Alright, so I open recent and what was that? Level design temp? I think this one is it. Alright, cool. So uh, this is like uh, basically where I built most of my, uh, well, built my characters like in Adobe Animate and I've broken them down by body part. Uh, specifically for the reason of being able to do stuff that I'm getting, like, uh, what I'm getting ready to do right now. So I'm going to take this dozer right here, who's just kind of chilling and, like, minding his own business. And then I'm going to, like, break him apart. Oh, which he's already broken apart. Yay! Alright. So, um, I'm going to do the same poses that I just did, that I just tried to do in, um, in Unity. So, let's see, uh, transform. So I'm going to flip horizontal, and then, like, uh, move this over here. Uh, go ahead and grab the body part. Okay, and take this and put horizontal. Okay, uh, for this leg, I'm gonna keep it like this, I think. Right, and uh, this guy I'm also going to uh, flip horizontal, which is actually like uh, the, 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 which key I forgot. Uh, okay, so anyways, it's going to look something like this, so I'm going to drag this arm here, I'm going to um, rotate this leg out a bit more, because I, I do believe it's a bit more rotated, right? So something like this. All right. All right. And then uh, this back arm will need to. Hold on. Why is that arm so small? Okay. Anyway, let me make this bigger. Okay. And flip horizontal. Rotate this guy out here. Drop the head down. Right, and maybe move this leg out a little bit further. So I do want to have like a nice little twist here. Okay. And now we're going to drag this axe in here. Okay. And 
then uh, for this one, maybe I can kind of break it apart. Okay, yeah. So that can might be his little twist animation right there. And I might move his head a little bit more this way. Okay? Cool, cool, cool. So now that we've got this pose kind of set up here, um, I'm just going to copy, well, like highlight all of these and then hit F8 and turn them all into a movie clip. Right? Right. And then uh, once I've turned everything into a movie clip, uh, I need to find out why I have like, a little bit more space over there. Mm, right. Uh, then I'm gonna do an export uh, PNG sequence, and I'm gonna go into Dozer's folder here. Okay, and then I'm gonna say uh, like uh, act twist uh, twist one. So this will be act twist one, and this is gonna be a huge file. But right now, like I said, uh, when I'm prototyping, I don't really worry about size uh, for the uh, files so much uh, because I know I'm going to wind up uh, like shrinking uh, shrinking them down later, like uh, once I create a sprite sheet. So now I'm going to go into my graphics, go into my sprites right quick, and uh, go ahead and open up my dozer folder. And now I just need to find that. Uh, where are you? Now that looks very, very big, right? So uh, what I'll need to do first is I will need to open this with, um, like maybe, I don't know, like uh, something. I'll open it with preview uh, because this is a very, very large file and I'm going to uh, adjust the size and right now it's like a hundred and something inches. So <laughs> just gonna shrink it down to this. And, uh, Huh. Let me. Okay, so that should be ten, and like maybe twelve. Ah. Twelve. Um, well, let me get rid of the scale proportionally. Twelve, and maybe like. that proportionately. Hold on. Turn that off. Okay. And that should work, I think. So, let me go ahead and close this, and now uh, reopen it. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Alright, so what we're going to do with this graphic is we're just going to take this guy and like, drop him into Unity now. So uh, we've got that one, and then uh, the other uh, animation that we're going to need to use, that we're going to need to do is just kind of have him turn back. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm um, going to highlight these two, and then hit Q, and rotate this one down, um, rotate this one up. Right, and I'm gonna drag this, grab this whole foot, and then um, kind of drop it down and move it forward a little bit. Okay, 
uh, for this back leg. Um, I'm going to make sure that that's rotated out more and uh, kind of make sure that it's a little bit longer. All right, and then I'm going to grab these guys and basically like flip everything back to uh, facing forward and move them forward. And I'll move his head out. Now, uh, for these, actually, maybe... Yeah. For right now, because uh, this is going to come up in a, a swing, upward swinging motion. These are going to kind of rotate downwards. Okay, let me go ahead and bring these forward. This to front. Ah, yeah. I kind of want this under the um, under the axe. Yeah, something like this, right? All right, and this one will come here, and uh, we'll actually rotate this way. And uh, this forward arm will become the back arm, so I need to move the the face in front of that. Yeah. All right. And then for the axe, we're going to move it this here. Hmm. So I don't want it facing down too much because uh, just because it's uh, because of what's going on in Unity. So I'm going to put it right around here. I do want uh, us to see that he's got some downward um, motion going with this. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this looks pretty decent. Okay. And I will. Uh, Highlight all of these, and then F8, and then save this as a another um, symbol and export out. So this would be X Twist Two. Okay. So uh, after this, I think now that he's not, now that we've kind of completed the twist uh, part for him, we can actually uh, do the animation, uh, go back to using our body part animation in Unity. All right, so let me jump over here. Uh, hold on, let me um, first change the size on this one. Yeah. So what were you again? You were window. Uh, you were I just size. That was twelve and nine. Okay. So this one was twelve and nine. Uh, so I'll have to do the same thing for the other one. So I'll just open this up. Okay, so like uh, 12 and 9. Okay, save. Alright, and uh, I'm going to drag this one into Unity as well. Alright. So now let's go back into Unity and uh, let's click on our dozer and go back to animation. 
we're still messing with this melee attack, so uh, let's see what we've got so far. So we got this first. All right. And now um, we're going to create a new frame and just kind of drag it out here. But first we're going to turn that off. Uh, we're going to create an empty movie clip or an em uh, empty, empty game object. And uh, we're going to add a sprite renderer to this. And uh, we're going to go for um, act, act, act twist one. And uh, I need to put this in my game. I have everything on the really on really funky layer, so I'm gonna put uh, pull this all the way up here. And uh, you'll notice that this thing's kind of small, so I am going to have to scale it up. So I'm gonna scale it up and kind of position it right to where Dozer is right now. Um, Okay, so something like this will work. So this will be like his little like load up here. All right. And uh, I'll make sure I name this one uh, Axe uh, ax, ax Twist 1. All right. And uh, for the sprite render, I'll need to make sure that is uh, set for my... Uh, D because I am using a URP, so I want to make sure that uh, the colors are kind of aligned up. All right. So, um, I've got X Twist 1, and I'll go ahead and duplicate uh, this to X, X Twist 2. And I will um, go ahead and put X Twist 2 in here. Alright, so these are going to be my two uh, twisting frames. Alright, and you'll notice that they're about the same size, same height as Dozer, so I uh, shouldn't really notice like too much. Alright. Um, with the X twist 2, I do need to drag the, because he is coming forward. And what the hell happened to the rest of his foot? Well, this is going to be a fast animation anyway, so people may not notice. If they do, well, I might have to actually fix that, to be honest. Alright. So, uh, X twist 1, X twist 2, right here. Alright. Alright, so now um, I've cut these off in uh, the um, main um, in the main movie clip, so because I don't want them showing um, until they're until the animation tells them to play. So now uh, for Dozer, I have to make sure that we're still like on his melee attack and make sure that he's activated. All right, and uh, I'll turn this back on. Okay, and I'm gonna jump out to uh, frame 20 right now. And at this point, I'm going to have to do a little bit of a um, trick. I'm going to turn all, turn everything off. I mean, everything to set everything to like uh, invisible, basically. So I'm going to turn all of these like off. And then I'm going to cut this one on. Okay. And... Then I'm going to jump out to here, and I'll turn X, uh, X twist 1 off, and then X twist 2 on, right? And then, actually, I'm, I might move that over to 25, because I want it to be kind of a quick turn. And then on this frame, I'm going to turn X twist 2 off, uh, sorry, I'm going to turn both of these X twists off, and then I'm going to turn uh, everything else back on. Okay, so let me turn all of these back on. Okay, cool. Now, he does have an extra arm. Uh, why do you have an extra arm, dude? Um, okay, which one? Okay, yeah, so I'll need to turn... Um, left arm off yeah okay cool 
So, um, basically, we've done uh, what we've done here is we kind of like uh, you know did a little bit of a did I mind trick and I uh, switched these off. But I am going to turn uh, this one back on for just a second. And uh, for this X twist, uh, I'm gonna kind of do like an onion skinning thing for him. All right. So now I can come in here and um, I can kind of um, manipulate this to where we want, uh, manipulate the position of it to where we want it to be. So uh, for his body, we're going to um, adjust everything. Uh, da -da. Might have to shrink those graphics down. But anyway, like for his body and stuff like that, uh, body head, arm, girdle, um, and, uh, like his, open and arm left, okay, we're gonna move all of this forward, Okay, so we're mo moving this forward to kind of uh, get to the same position where his head was at in the static frame. All right. And then uh, we're going to have to do the same thing for his leg. So his left leg needs to come forward. Okay, and then uh, his right leg, the right leg is in, in such a bad position, but we are going to go ahead and ro rotate it out a bit more and stretch it. Well, make it look like he's got more of a plant there. Um, and now, I think that's good enough and we can turn this uh, axe twist to off. Uh, Aha, uh -huh, yeah, buddy, I do have another uh, leg around here somewhere. This one is the one I don't need. Okay, so something like this. Uh, and let me turn X with two back one right quick. Okay, uh, and let me rotate this one a bit. Something like this will work. Alright, so now I can turn X twist 2 back off. Alright. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give him an. Uh, we're going to invert this axe. So we'll go ahead and put this on the Y. Uh, actually, no, we're going to like uh, flip it on the X. Uh, because we're just going to have like a single like arc up. Okay. And now uh, for his uh, arms, we're going to go to his right arm and uh, jump up in here. And 
for his uh, left arm. I'm gonna rotate this one uh, kind of up. And uh, for his left arm, I think we're gonna have to move this back. Okay, and for his head, we're going to have his head tilt up like this, right? And for the axe, um, I'm going to move that up as well. So he's kind of fading out here uh, because of uh, of what goes on on the next frame. So I am going to need to put a uh, <laughs> kind of like a pause too. So I'll have to copy these frames. So let me copy these frames and put them over, uh, like maybe over here. And uh, this uh, X twist two will be like normal size. hit once, then he's going to rear up, come here, stop there, then come up. Okay. Also, I'll need to uh, put frame or two here. Okay, that's good enough to register. Okay, did it, did it, did it. All right, cool. And then uh, all we're gonna do now is we're gonna copy these frames and we're gonna put them, uh, like paste them over here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right. So, um, between here, we might, uh, actually put one more frame in between this, or actually, let me copy this, uh, da, 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 and put that right there. Uh, right here, with this, we're going to kind of jump in the middle of these, I think. And uh, we're going to rotate uh, a few things. So we're going to rotate uh, the axe down. Because right now, this kind of looks like the axe is just kind of jumping to that position, which is what we don't want. So we are going to like uh, give the axe a bit of a swinging arc upward. Hmm. All right, and so uh, for that, we don't really have to do too much, I don't think. We just got to like uh, rotate uh, the arms down.
Okay, yeah, nothing's ever that simple, so we have to do a little bit more work here. So, move the axe here. Um, Yeah, that looks kind of, I think that'll look like a more, a little believable swing, so you can go in here, you come in here, he's right there, ah, wait a minute, that's, why is that going all the way up to heaven? Oh, I need to switch these frames out, that's why. Okay, so let's move these frames actually over here, and then move these frames over. disappearing somewhere again. Okay, yeah, you need to stay... Axe twist, you need to stay... Uh, stay full there. What happened to my down frame that I just had? Axe twist. Boom. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Huh. I'll have to uh, redo that. Rotation. So now it's just a little bit fast, that's all I want to do. Right there. So we, he does have a bit of a, um, a longer pause there. I'm gonna go here, then we're gonna go here. Now we can go around here. All right. I want people to see that there is like kind of a, uh, a down thing before it comes up. Yeah. One, two, 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 two. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Why are you disappearing? got a bit of a pause here. Oh, okay. That explains why. So he's here, then he comes here. So, uh, basically it's just a timing thing, so I need to drag this right around here, I think. 
one. Boom. All right, there we go. To where that little um, little pause where he's not uh, on the screen isn't so noticeable. Okay, hold on. So, um, yeah, that's actually looking pretty good. So, I think I've given him too much of a pause there. So, I'll have to uh, smooth that out. Do I need this one right here? I might get rid of these frames. Okay, that looks pretty decent, right? So, um, yeah, I think we're going to go with this one. Uh, we are going to um, make this, um, like, kind of extend this out a little bit. So I want the swing to be fast, but I want the, um, oh, all right, good. So I want the, uh, the, the initial, the swing through to be fast. Um, for the first strike, let's go back to the first strike. And so we're going to hit here, and I think we're going to put a break here. So I'm going to drag, drag these guys out to one, and I'll just copy this frame, uh, copy these frames here. Okay, so this will be the first hit. Okay, yeah, that first strike will need to be even longer. Hitting there, boom, 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 boom. Okay. So, uh, finally for this one, I think I'm gonna copy the uh, first frames. Okay, so he's kind of getting that thing. Now we're not seeing the twist, right? So I do want to give a little bit uh, more emphasis to the twist, the load. So you've got this. Uh, so I am gonna drag. Th uh, not that. Okay, that looks decent enough, I think. Yeah, so it makes it look like he's looking backwards and then he's coming up with that like upward swing. And then he's kind of resetting his body. Okay. Yeah, so that'll work right now. Um, that final frame. Well, well. Okay, so let's see when he comes up. He's hitting, hitting, hitting. Hmm. 
Okay, so this is coming up here. When he's here, his arms are forward. When he's here, uh, his uh, arms reset, right? Okay, uh, for this frame, I might go ahead and start bringing his uh, head and um, right arm back a little bit, along with his body. Okay, actually that doesn't really look too bad, so I think we're going to leave it at this one. And um, so, now that we've got the animation done, there is something that we haven't done. We haven't added attacks to his, um, to his uh, melee weapon. So right now he's just like swinging through the air, but he's not doing any damage. So uh, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go down to his dummy weapon, and uh, we're going to go to his axe. All right, and uh, we're going inside of his axe. We're going to create an empty game object. All right, and um, so let's see. Let's go all the way back to this first frame. All right. So uh, for this, um, actually, I don't even need to do it inside of uh, his attack animation. Let me go back to his uh, main, like a uh, main weapon, and let me turn his. Um, his uh, dummy weapon on. Hold on, might be a problem. Okay, so this is working. All right, and then for jump, nothing strange here. And then for melee attack. Okay. All right, we're gonna give this an empty game object. Actually, uh, maybe not necessarily an empty game object. We're going to go ahead and, actually, let's go ahead and give her that. Um, we're going to copy something from the previous, uh, from Black Wolf. So we're going to go to Black Wolf and we're going to uh, copy his air slide. So we're going to duplicate this one and just drag it into uh, Dozer. We're going to drag it into Dozer, but we're going to drag it into uh, his dummy weapon. Yeah. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, so. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put it here then. All right, so uh, this is uh, an air slash. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, now, uh, Dozer's um, weapon is uh, like most of his attacks will be yellow. So uh, for him, we're going to use the um, what was it? We're going to use the same uh, kind of graphic that Corey is using. Huh. Getting a bit sleepy, so we're gonna use uh, this flip animation, uh, weapon swing. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna use weapon swing for this. Um, and uh, I'll go ahead and turn this on so we can see what it looks like. Uh, so I'll just change this to like a uh, axe swing. Right, so that is on now. Right, and uh, the actual, I suppose I could have just like copied Corey's X. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this. To 
make it easier. Let me uh, get rid of this one. I'm getting sleepy. So, well, not maybe not so sleepy, but more hungry. Ooh, that's a kick attack. Oh, well, we're going to need that one too. So uh, I think I'll copy both of them because he's going to have like an arcing attack and then he's going to have a straight attack anyway. So uh, one that kind of slices through. So uh, kick attack, uh, flip animation. We're going to duplicate this one and... Okay, so uh, we'll cut both of these on. All right, so Dozer is going to be using both of these. Uh, so this axe swing thing, we can go ahead and get rid of that. So like, I just really that bitch. All right, so um, now for Dozer, both of his uh, like his um, fighting things are going to be his fighting graphics are going to be yellow. So I'll go ahead and switch these over to yellow glow. Boom. All right. Because his light, his uh, lightning is also yellow. So, all right, and uh, now uh, these also, uh, both of these also have a um, have an enemy damager on them as well. So uh, for this, um, for the slash, I think I'm gonna give that one a like a damage of like maybe even thirty, right? Um, and for this one, I think I'll give it a damage of like uh, 25. So he's going to have like uh, some of the higher attack, uh, higher hitting attacks. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and turn um, this, these two off. So um, this will be like. Okay, and this will be like uh, X, uh, flash two, and I might want to have another one as well, so I'll just go ahead and uh, duplicate um, this one. X flash three. Okay, so uh, now that we've kind of got these in here, let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and turn them off. Go to Dozer, and we'll go to uh, his melee attack, All right? And make sure this is on, All right? And we're just gonna go to the first frame. So, frame number one, this is gonna be X slash one. So I'm gonna turn this on. Oh, not that one. So, so I'll turn this one on. Uh, and we've already kind of got the damager. Um, so I'm gonna rotate it. I can make it bigger. So, uh, and I'll probably bring it here and drop it behind the axe because we want to see the axe here. So, four, three, two, one. Oh, sorry, that's area of effect. I'm, <laughs> yeah, uh, where's his uh, layer? Okay, so layer two. Okay, so, so I'll put it right here, boom. So that's gonna be the first attack. Okay, then after that, uh, this will disappear. All right, and then we've got our pause. And then we're gonna start here. And we're going to start slashing up. Does he need that one right there? Maybe not, actually. Because he's going to hit, and then he's just going to spin through. All right, yeah, so he, maybe he doesn't need that. Um, these other two X flashes. I'm going to leave them in there anyway, though. So duplicate, and this would be like uh, X flash 2, 1. Okay, so now let's go back to in here, and we're going to turn. On this frame, we're going to turn uh, 1 on, and I'm going to um, flip it. Flip it on the X, yeah. 
and I'm gonna put this up on 120. Come on. And then um, move it. Move it here. Now, in this case, what I might want to do is I might want to turn uh, the, right, maybe not turn the collider off, or maybe shrink it a little bit. At this point, I may want to turn that collider off. So it's going to come here, and then it's going to come this way. And I'm going to turn the box collider off just for a second here. And then, as it continues, at this point, then I'm going to um, rotate this. Yeah. Then I can turn the box collider on here. And I might want it to extend all the way up here. Yeah. Okay, let's see how that works. So, so then it's going to hit here. It's going to come up here. Now, on this frame, I'll probably drop the opacity. Uh, I keep on saying opacity. The transparency on this one. Right around there. And then around here. It should be fully, uh, yeah, fully visible. He's just going to hit you like from the top and then he's going to hit you from the bottom and then right around here this is going to stay and then um, on the final frame it will disappear all right there we go so there is Dozer's uh, melee attack So he's going to hit here, hit there. Mm. So when he does the twist, I could, like, uh, have this. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to activate, uh, activate that, uh, X slash one here since I drug it in there anyway so yeah so so I'm gonna have him hit you here so maybe just kind of make that a uh, He's gonna hit here, then he's gonna hit there. And then once he starts this one, just be like a little quick hit. Okay. 
Okay, and then on the next frame, this will be... Yeah, this will be gone. Alright, so let's see. Let's see. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, okay, yeah. Actually, he doesn't need that. It would have been cool to put it somewhere, but not really necessary, to be honest. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think that'll be good enough for him. For his melee, anyway. Okay, so yeah, now let's kind of play. Okay, so let's switch over here. So he's got his two. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay, this is also looping, it looks like, yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll have to fix that. But yeah, like, uh, basically it's kind of working, so. Okay. Alright, so let's go uh, to Dozer's um, animation in the project. Okay, and then, like, for his melee attack, okay, we'll get rid of this loop here. Seeing an extra arm like flying somewhere. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. So, yeah, I gotta, uh, on this last frame, I have to get rid of his, uh, I have to get rid of his dummy arm. I'm just gonna like come here and get rid of uh, the dummy, like hide that before it goes back to the normal hole. But that does like a lot of damage, so. Let me make sure that uh, this dummy isn't. Okay. Melee attack. Let's see, uh, make sure at the end of this. Oh. Okay, yeah, 
All right, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, our honey badger in space is almost done. He's got his nice little melee attack. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna knock the shit out of you. All right, there we go. Boom. So it's a very simple attack, but it, it kind of matches his uh, you know, his uh, fighting style. Boom. Yeah, and then like if we press fast, he's just gonna like, you know, do his overhead whack. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. Alright. So, uh, that it will be his melee attack for now. Like, boom, boom. I could have him like do a rush, but I think that wouldn't be necessary. Alright, so, um, now what I'm going to do here is, um, inside of, uh, Inside of Dozer, you notice that we have these uh, two, like, uh, axe hits, right? So, um, when I go to his melee attack, and I'm, like, playing through this, well, the first one, this uh, axe flash actually um, does the damage of 30. I'm, in order to, like, uh, give people incentive to finish the combo, I'm actually going to just drop this down to 10. And then, um, as the, as we start this one, uh, then this, uh, Axe Flash 2, or, sorry, this one will have a hit of, like, 30, yeah. Okay. Alright, and, uh, you'll see the reason why I did that. So, um... Like, uh, this wall that we keep on, this white wall that we keep on running into actually has a hit point value of, like, 200. You just can't see anything because I was too lazy to put any, like, flashes or animations on it. All right, so when I switch over to Dozer here, um, and I start, like, hitting this, well, it's got 200, so it's going to take him 20 hits, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, sorry, 10 hits. My math stuff. All right, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Did I give it 200? Maybe 100. All right. So anyways, like, uh, but that took about like 10 hits, right? So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the combo finish. I can't remember how many hit points I actually gave that thing. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's switch over to Dozer again. Now I'm, I'll let him finish the combo and he should like uh, be able to do more damage to this faster. One, two, three. Okay, so that was actually, like, you know, much faster, I think. If I had kept on, like, just pressing it, it would have just done, le like, less damage, all in all. Mm. Alright, so there we go. And then when I switch positions, he's still going to uh, finish the combo, which is cool. Alright, cool. So now, uh, let's see, what else do we have to do for our honey badger? So I'll go ahead and save this. And uh, we'll go back over to Dozer. Uh, the only other animations that Dozer will have will be a run and a wall climb. Alright, what the shit is this? Alright, um, hmm. Yeah, you can read all of that. Uh, I think that was from his previous animation. Alright, so uh, for Dozer's run as well, uh, we're going to make him look a little bit uh, bulky. So he's going to lean forward, kind of like a football, uh, kind of like a football rush. Right, uh, so I used to play football, but I've been in Japan for like too long, so I've forgotten um, all of the terminology. Haha. <laughs> All right, so we're going to click on Dozer. We're going to uh, go to um, go to ahead, go ahead and start recording. Um, for his run, we're going to tilt his body forward. Yeah, so he's going to be uh, extremely uh, lean forward and extreme, like uh, you know, amount. Actually, even probably further than this. All right. And uh, also for his uh, girdle, we're going to have to like uh, rotate that as well. Okay, this might be good. And we're going to move his head. Move his head this way. And uh, his head, we're going to rotate his head down like this. Like, he's just going to charge straight ahead. 
Okay. Um, for his right arm, we're gonna move. Sorry, uh, move the whole thing. Move his right arm. And uh, for the starting position, we'll rotate it up like this. Okay. And uh, his um, left leg will also rotate out. And for his left leg, we're going to... Uh, for his right leg, sorry, we're going to do this, and we're going to stretch it out, so. Okay. Okay, so that'll be his starting position, and then, like, uh, for this one, we're going to push it back. And uh, for his uh, right leg, we're going to move it forward. So I'm, I don't want like too many animations for this. Now uh, we're going to have to switch the um, the layer of the girdle uh, of his leg, top leg above the girdle. So that'll be like what, twelve or something. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then for his right arm, we're just going to like uh, swing that up more. Well, actually, no. For frame one, um, actually, we're we should swing his arm forward. And then for this one, he's gonna move like this. All right. Okay. And uh, for this one, I think we'll move his head up a little bit. Okay. Boom. boom. Okay. And then uh, we'll jump out here, and we're just going to. Uh, Rotate it, start rotating his right leg back again. Well, and uh, rotate his left leg forward. down again and uh, make sure that uh, his right leg is back on like six I think mm. okay so let's see Okay, so that's not exactly the best um, one. So we'll need a transition in between here. And that transition will be... Okay. With uh, the arm, right arm coming forward. Left leg coming down. Uh, coming down and forward more. Um, girdle will rotate down.
kind of looks like he's skipping there, so. I'm trying to take shortcut, that's why. So. So, yeah, this one's coming forward, and then this one's going back, yeah. That looks more like a kick. Alright, so I'm gonna have to put a little bit more effort in this, so. Okay, so I think this actually works pretty good. Okay. And for his head, I think I'm going to move his head up a little bit. Okay, and then when he comes down, I'll move his head down. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to use this, like, uh, kind of like his run cycle right now. So, uh, if you notice, his uh, back arm isn't moving because that is his weapon arm still. So, uh, we're not really going to mess with that. Yeah, but this will be a, like, decent run animation for him. Alright, so, uh, let's go back to his girdle. Um, for the first frame, I think we'll need to, like, uh, kind of move. His girdle's kind of getting in the way, so. So, we'll move it down here. Alright, and then in this frame, it's kind of hidden, so it doesn't matter. Like this one. Alright, there we go. So let's see how that looks. Okay, yeah, that's cool. We'll use that for his run animation. Alright, so let's stop and let's go ahead and play. 
and I'm gonna have to take a break in a little bit because sitting down here is making my neck stiff. So I get to get up and move, maybe eat something. and get his run. Okay, that looks like a pretty convincing run, and then boom, he runs into something, he takes damage, boom, he runs into something, he takes, boom, he runs into something, he takes damage, but not really. Alright, so, go ahead and boom, boom, make sure he can, like, attack, boom. Alright, there we go. And he can still shoot, alright. He's got a Superman jump, alright, there we go. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So now, uh, let's see, the only other animation that we need to do for him, actually, uh, before I jump off, is actually uh, his wall climb. So we'll go to his wall climb. And uh, for his wall climb, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Uh, we don't, we're not going to need his primary weapon, so we're going to turn that off, and we're going to activate his um, arm. So not the dummy. Where is your arm at? Uh, here we go. So we're going to activate his left arm. All right. So, uh, for his wall climb, um, like, uh, he does have claws, but I think we're just going to kind of leave it, uh, leave it look, looking like he's climbing this way. I like his claws are kind of digging into the side. Um, so for the frame one of his, uh, wall climb, we're just going to, um, grab his right arm and his, uh, left arm. And we're going to rotate these up. So we're going to rotate these up um, for his left arm, uh, well actually for his right arm I'm going to rotate this one down a little bit right now. Hmm. And I'm probably going to move his uh, right arm over a bit more. Hmm. And uh, I'm going to activate his dummy weapon. And the reason I'm activating his dummy, I'm going to turn uh, this arm part off, so like uh, this this we don't need, um, his arm left we don't need. So uh, I'm just going to use this part of his dummy and uh, I'm going to put his, I'm going to sling his axe over his back basically. Alright, so that's going to be kind of behind him at the moment and I might flip it this side actually. Okay, so I'll, I'll put this over here. All right, and now, um, because that's going to cover up a hole in his back. So, uh, well, not really a hole, but just like, a, it'll make it look like he's actually like more rounded, carrying out something. Um, for this also, I might uh, shrink it down a bit. Yeah. Make it easier for him to carry. And now, uh, for his leg, um, for his left leg, it's just going to be a rotation. Not that part. Uh, the whole left leg. So I'm going to rotate that up. And uh, Dozer, since uh, Dozer has his, uh, cl his um, claws on his feet, so that'll make it easier for him to climb. Uh, for this, I'm going to put this all the way back. And uh, same for his right leg. Uh, rotate this up. Okay. And uh, since he's got his toenails, you know, we're just going to make sure that they can kind of grab into whatever he's climbing. Um, for his left leg, I might pull that back a little bit. Okay. And uh, for his uh, right arm... Let me do this and actually extend this one out as well. And um, move everything forward. Even a bit more. Okay. And now when he's climbing, we can actually see him like kind of climbing. 
All right, so now for his left arm, we're going to um, also extend this one out as well. And uh, we're going to move this back to roughly about the same. Uh, left leg can come out a little bit more. Come out. Okay. So right arm will pivot down. Left arm will pivot up. Okay, and then uh, left leg will pivot down. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this will be like the start of his climb. Um, for his head, I think we're going to um, make him look upwards and move his head back a bit. Alright, so this will be like uh, maybe the first frame. Let me like um, rotate his right leg out even a bit more. Okay. Alright, and then uh, frame 10, we're just going to kind of reverse these. So this foot will come down and uh, this leg will rotate up. Okay, and uh, this right arm will rotate up, and this left arm will rotate down. Okay, and so, yeah, and that will be his uh, climbing animation, basically. Um, his girdle's kind of in the way, so uh, we're going to need to kind of switch for uh, for his uh, leg. Let me put that at 10. Uh, 12. Let's see how it looks uh, on a 12. Okay. And then, oh shit, that's like This one will be, I think, six. Come on. Okay. And uh, on this frame, I guess we can have his head tilt down a little bit. Or actually, no, on this frame, I guess we can have his head kind of tilting down a little bit. On this frame, we'll tilt his head up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that looks like a decent climbing animation for him. All right. So um, we're going just going to like uh, you know stretch this out to thirty, twenty, fifteen. Yeah, that'll be a, a decent, like, um, climbing animation for him. And now, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to copy these frames. And, um, if I go here, I'm also going to do his, uh, wall grab. So for his wall grab, I, I'm just going to try to copy, uh, the same frames, just like that. Alright, so that's, that's going to be it. Uh, and then also for his wall slide. Okay. 
But uh, for his wall slide, I'm debating about whether just to kind of turn his head the opposite way. Yeah. All right. So for his wall slide, I think we're going to have him like uh, kind of do this and look down. Because he wants to kind of see what he's sliding into. So uh, for his right arm, um, I'm going to move his right arm back. Uh, and still kind of rotate it though. So I'm going to um, move it back and then kind of rotate it up here. To where we can kind of see that he's kind of looking where, he, where he's sliding to. Okay. And uh, for his head, I think we're going to just move it up here. Okay, and that'll be his wall slide, so when he's going back down a wall. Alright, so, yeah, let's play. Oh, hold on. Phone just stopped working because I just ran out of battery. Kill this guy. Boom. Alright, and then after that, I'm going to have to take a break, relax my neck, uh, get something to, um, get something to eat. Alright, so, we've got Dozer here. Uh, what are you doing? Damn it, honey badger. What did I do here? Ah, okay, I know what I did. Alright, let me jump back in here right quick and, uh, flip his head the right way. Um, <laughs> Alright, so, um, basically I just did that when the keyframe was, when it wasn't recording. So, uh, his wall slide, we're gonna jump back in here and, uh, play this, yeah. Okay. So now it should be working. Um, so let's go back to his normal. Okay, so let's play through all of these. That's working alright. Uh, his dead is dead. His Oh, he doesn't have a fall. Uh, his hurt. His hurt. Uh, his... We just did his idle. His jump. His jump. Alright. His melee attack. His melee attack. His run. His run. Alright. And his... Uh, he doesn't have a slide. His wall climb. His wall climbing. And his... Wall grab, it's wall grabbing, and his wall slide is this way. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to test this out. Now, uh, in the scene, I don't really have anything for him to climb. So, like, I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, let's see, where am I going to find a good, nice, climbable wall? I think there's one, maybe this one? Come on. Ground, ground. Um... Yeah, I've got to give him something climbable. Um, I'll have to look at my code uh, very quickly to see what I've got um, for uh, wall climbing ability. Yeah, so when you're doing like uh, doing this kind of stuff, it's a good idea to always kind of move your neck around. Otherwise, you're going to start getting neck pains, which is kind of what's happening to me right now. Because I'm kind of always looking down. I should probably elevate this a bit more. Now I think about it. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want Visual Studio for... Uh, 2022. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go for wall. Oh, fine. Not it. Wall. What? Okay, so if wall grab, if can wall grab equals true, collision, da, 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 da. let's see. If 
still get wall grab. Uh, collision on wall. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I forgot exactly the code that I used for this wall grab, so I think I have to uh, name something. Wall. Oh, okay, let's try. See, can you uh, grab this one? Okay, yeah, he can grab this one, and then there's his wall grab. All right, so, um, yeah, so in the game, like if you press B and go press up, then he'll just do his wall grab and climb up. Okay, so that's working. Um, his jump, jump is working. Um, so everything's working like uh, the way it should be. And then, like I said, I can always like uh, tweak these animations and stuff later if I want to, uh, which I probably will anyway. But uh, for right now, we're just like trying to work and get the demo game done. Um, you know, he does like uh, have his like uh, super attack now. Yeah, and that should not be pushing him back. I mean, like uh, he should be pushing everything else back. Okay, but these are uh, things that we're gonna like kind of like figure out a, a later anyway so all right when we're doing the level design all right so like uh i think um that is it for animation uh for these characters this week so let's uh quickly um you know like uh, go through now the, i still have a problem with uh, the animation triggering when i switch between characters in game that is an issue that i'm gonna have to like figure out figure out why these um even though they have their character animators like already ready, figure out why they're not trigger triggering um, when we switch characters. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and do a uh, quick standard like uh, playthrough, I guess, uh, using Dozer. Okay, so I'll try to like see how far he can get though yeah he can't like um he can't slide under stuff he's got his like um his weapon isn't exactly the fastest but he's got a badass axe right all right cool cool um so his jump is about like this high um so he's not gonna be able to cl clear this level all right so in this case he would have to call for help from uh megan or somebody who has a higher jump ability and then like we could switch back to him and um, get rid of these guys. Okay. So he does have a bit of a jump, but it's not like exactly a super jump, right? 
And uh, his weapon is like, you know, still able to fire. Boom. And he just killed that guy. And boom. And this is nothing. Kind of, yeah, I think I took the, took the colliders off of that. And then like uh, when he runs into a wall, you know, he can like press V and then he can go up if necessary. So uh, his ability but will be uh, useful for getting over stuff that Megan can't uh, jump over. Okay. And uh, there's his run. All right, cool, cool, cool. And let me get rid of this card here because we don't need it. All right. Oh, haven't let him get hurt yet. Boom. Take some damage. All right, good, good, good. Oh, this thing's actually painting. Ah, that's kind of nice, actually. Alright, so don't worry, I'll be working on the physics and stuff for all of this in a bit. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this is all working very nicely, so... Um... So he looks like he would be like a pretty boring character, but like uh, he's got a few things like um, when it comes to uh, protecting the team, and he's a heavy hitter. Hmm. Okay, and I'll add like some special abilities, some special break abilities to him. Uh, so he'll be able to break stuff like on enemy, like uh, enemy armor a lot, um, a lot easier than uh, other characters. Right, so he'll be our, he'll be our main tank, I guess. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this stream uh, because it looks like everything's working. So um, you know, I can still switch between uh, my characters. So, but it's that, like I said, the uh, the animations aren't working on them because for some reason, like uh, only the idle animation is working. And then like when I'm like trying to use the other ones, for some reason it's not working. Um, and so I had to figure that out. All right, let's switch over to the engine. So. So if anybody knows why why that might be happening, I'm using like um, animation uh, override controller. Yeah. All right. So, but you can see that their idle animation is playing. So, and then uh, Black Wolf, he's like just kind of chilling. Okay, and he can't jump when he's in this form either. Ah, he just ran into a bug. I don't know why. Yeah, so there's still going to be bugs that need to be worked out here, so. Yeah, okay. So, that's something. Like, uh, I'll have to make it to where you can't, like, uh, switch characters uh, when he's in shadow mode. Hmm. Okay. So only if uh, Black Wolf is active, and then like, uh, and then like um, when yeah, if any of the other ones are active, I gotta turn that off. Okay, so I'll figure that out in a little bit. But yeah, animations and stuff are kind of working like uh, the way that they should be for uh, this game. I, I mean for uh, for this particular character. I'm still gonna have to fix that as well. Fortunately, I have some like uh, friends who are like more professional uh, Unity developers, so that can maybe help me with this. All right. Cool, cool. So, yeah, that's what uh, we were trying to accomplish for this week, uh, just doing animations for these characters. Now we can get on to doing, like, more interesting stuff, which is actually, like, level design. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off of this to get something to eat, and I will see you all um, in the next stream, which will probably be, like, uh, more focused on level design. We've already got a little bit of level design done, but don't worry, the levels are not going to look like this. So, uh, you know, uh, we'll start, like, um, we'll start our level design with just, like, blocks and uh, kind of figuring out the flow of the level and where the enemy they're going to be at and stuff like that. And then uh, after that, we'll move on to like actually building it and like putting background elements and stuff like that. Okay, so that's it for this stream. Uh, so if you like um, what you're seeing, um, don't forget to check me out on uh, Patreon and uh, check out check me out on uh, creativemediavault.com. Um, I'll be doing a lot more artwork uh, now that uh, most of the programming is basically kind of done. 
Um, I need to go ahead and get re get uh, everything ready for pitching. Um, you know, to like uh, certain places and stuff like that because I am running out of funding for uh, out of personal funding for doing this project. So like uh, you know that's why uh, if you want if you want to support this game and you want to know more about it and you would like to be a part of it, please stop by my Nerdy Urges online store and pick up like uh, some uh, apparel you know uh, like uh, from the, the original character that you're seeing me make. Um, or if you don't want to do that, you can, uh, you know, like, uh, support me on Patreon, which again is, like, uh, creativemb.com. Just, uh, re recently restarted. I don't have, like, any, like, patrons or anything at the moment. Uh, I've got, like, two patrons, uh, at the moment, you know, um, like, uh, like, Leonardi and, like, one other, one other guy. So, like, uh, that will definitely help, uh, because I would like to keep these games going. You know, but in the meantime, I will be looking for... Um, keep on making stuff, keep on uh, making videos, uh, be uh, updating these in the Udemy course, and I'm also going to be looking for investors and, like, uh, maybe a company to help me, like, continue to build this, right? Alright, so that's going to be it for today. Everyone take care, and I will see you guys.